Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I hate more than anything is a liar. The individuals that you see on my screen here, let me back this up like a U-Haul truck, especially this individual right here. I got to say that this is probably going to confirm some of my worst fears about what I, th what I think in this story. But this story makes Texas take another L because I can't do the L with my correct hand because it's still broken. Ah. It's about as good as I can get it, so I can do it like that. My home state takes another L, and this story is just flat out ridiculous. But the details are going to bother you as well as my opinion. So that is your disclaimer if you need to exit the video. But the mother of a three-year-old boy that was fatally shot in Dallas on March the 28th is facing additional charges. Got to give you guys a lot of details. Dallas police said Tuesday that they are charging. It's a beautiful baby boy, by the way. This fool, I mean, this idiot, I mean, this alleged mother right here on my screen. This is 26-year-old LaCravion Washington charging her with two additional charges of endangering a child on Monday. Are you guys prepared to be triggered? I think I might be able to put her name up on the screen. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me make it bigger. Let me get a bigger picture. Because I want to make sure that you guys can see her name. Because that might not be big enough. Her name, as you can see on the screen, is spelled L A C R A V I O E. N N E. Let me give a shout out to Tommy, by the way, who brings these type of things to people's attention all the time, right? Got to give a shout out to my brother. But I got to tell you, usually when you have stupid names, stupid names usually equal stupid things. <laughs> hashtag, I think that's going to be a new hashtag for us. Cause I know he's, I know he says, what is, what is this thing? When you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That comes from Tommy. So I think I'm a, I'm a run with the hashtag. Stupid names equals stupid things. Lacravion, what in the freaking hell is a Lacravion? How do you even come up with a name like that? Lacravion? I'm sorry, but if my mother was named Lacravion, I would I would want her as my mother. I'm sorry, but I would just think that some dumb shit is probably gonna happen with an individual by the name of Lacravion. Lacravion. Where do you come up? Like, where do you come up with a name like that? La and then cray? Like what? Crayfish? Cray, uh, cray what? I don't know. Vion. Lacravion. I've never even heard of a name dumber than Lacravion. Lacravion just sounds like somebody that would try to murder their kid with a gun and then lie about it. That's what that name sounds like to me. But I digress. 26 years old. The charges stem from a gun being accessible to a child and a child unrestrained in a vehicle, according to police. And I'm getting this from NBCDFW.com, so thank you for the article. LaCravion Washington was charged with tampering with physical evidence last Thursday after police say that she concealed a handgun that she owned during the investigation into the death of her son. You can see the vehicle. Let me back that up real quick. That's the vehicle right there. The day before, on March the 30th, LaCravion was charged with endangering a child due to the fact that a weapon was accessible to a child in her vehicle. Let me back that on up like a U-Haul truck. Let me say that again. The day before, the day before, the day before, on March the 30th, LaCravion was charged with endangering a child due to the fact that a weapon was accessible to a child in the vehicle. 
but she got to keep her kid. How, Sway? How? In the famous words of Kanye West. According to the arrest warrant affidavit obtained by NBC5, Washington told police that she was involved in a road rage incident. Uh-huh. So that's the new thing now. Either children are falling in bathtubs and killing themselves, or it was a road rage incident and some strange Mexican or some strange white man was trying to gun down black people and black children, right? That's that's what happened. We used to tell these type of stories all the time, but it's been a while. So I guess it's time to start telling some more of these lies again. She said a road race incident on Monday as she left a business with her not one, not two, but three children. All of whom were unrestrained in her car that three-year-old Jalexis Washington, and that's the baby right there. I don't know about the name, but... I'm not here to harp on a baby's name because the babies don't have any choice over what they're named. That beautiful baby boy, Jalexis Washington, three years old, was shot in the face during the altercation, according to the lion ass mama. And I'm going to just flat out say it. I think she was lying. Police said Washington signed a consent form at the hospital allowing police to search her vehicle for evidence. They said she stated there were no firearms in the car. So that was already a lie. But while searching the vehicle for evidence of the road rage incident, police found a handgun in the glove compartment. Investigators later learned that the gun was one of two that had been purchased on March the 4th by Washington. The second gun was not found in the car or in a search of her home, police said. It was later determined to be in the possession of her husband. During a subsequent videotaped interview at the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center, police said that Washington waived her Miranda rights and gave a voluntary statement <coughs> where she said the road rage incident, she reached for her handgun in the glove compartment twice but never pulled it out. How does that make any effing sense? I'm gonna read that again. She gave a statement and she said, during this alleged road rage incident, she reached for her handgun in the glove compartment, not once, but twice, but never pulled out the gun. Does that make any sense to y'all? It does not to me, but let's keep going. She said during this time, her children were moving freely from the front to the back seats and that she heard two gunshots. That doesn't make any sense either. The first of which she said sounded far away. Police said the investigation into the road rage story stalled after officers were unable to locate a crime scene. Let me say that again. Police were unable to locate a crime scene. According to an arrest document, police said that they found no evidence of a road race incident, which means there were no bullets that were shot at the car. Because if you're saying there was a road race incident, that's how your kid got shot, then obviously they'd be looking for bullet holes or shots that would have hit the car that would have hit the kid, right? Just, God, you can't be that level of damn stupid. My God. Additionally, according to the boy's autopsy referenced in an affidavit, there was an unburned gunpowder residue on his body, indicating that the gunshot that killed him came, close, came from close proximity and ruling out him being shot by someone in a passing vehicle. That means he was shot at close range, and I got to give a shout out to Brian, the relationship rehab. If he's out there, shout out to him. He talks about a lot of these gun cases and incidents. And one thing that I know is that there's gunpowder 
on the victim, that means the victim was shot at close range. So either the kid shot himself, but you said you reached for a pistol twice, but didn't pull it out. But you didn't say nothing about the kids grabbing a pistol and shot themselves. So it only leaves the fact that you're saying that you reach for a pistol and now your kid has gun residue and was shot at close range, which sounds like the mom might have shot the kid at close range. And here's something I would like to know. Who the baby dad? Who is his dad? Who's the biological father? Because if the if the husband of hers is not the biological father of this kid, then that might actually give us a motive. The reason why I'm asking that question is because if that man is not the father of this child, then that might give us a motive. It's not exactly like it's uncommon for us to be having kids by different people and then get married and have some other man around kids that don't belong to them. So I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know that though. But police have not released any additional information about how the boy was shot. Now, Washington is currently in the Dallas, Dallas County Jail on bonds totaling $50,000. But again, they can't point to a murder yet. So that's why the bond is so low. $50,000 bond. And it's not clear if she has an attorney. Police are asking anybody with information regarding this investigation to contact homicide detective David Grubbs, number 9159 at 214-671-3675 or email david.grubbsjr. Or excuse me, david.grubbsjr. at dallascityhall.com. Please reference the case number 053933-2002. Let me give you the fair usage. And I'll give you a little more about my opinion. But let me know what you guys think, man. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I just wonder how many people are going to blame this on gun violence as opposed to stupid people with guns. But again, if you're listening to this story, please click that thumbs up. We want to have at least one thumb up for everybody watching. So do us a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Real easy to do. Helps us out a lot so more people can see the story. All right, we go. Let's get it. This is video at Medical City Hospital on Monday when police were called about a child who had been shot. In the video, you see other children who were in the vehicle when it happened. They have now been taken from their parents' home. Child Protective Services says DFPS has removed four siblings, ages 9, 7, 4, and 2, and they've been placed with relatives. The family did have prior DFPS involvement. Dallas police are still trying to piece together exactly what happened to three-year-old Jalexis Washington. Police say the child's mother, LaCravion Washington, isn't cooperating. When she was here, she declined to talk further to our detectives. Sources say police are trying to track her whereabouts and who she talked to before and after the shooting on her cell phone, but the phone was damaged when police confiscated it. They are now waiting on records and asking the public for help. Sometimes the public thinks that that small piece of information is insignificant, but that could be the one piece of information that we need to possibly solve this case. Sources also say they have video of Washington at the hospital talking to someone in another vehicle and handing them something. Initially, she told police her child was shot in a road rage, but police say the evidence doesn't match that. The child was shot in the face at close range. Just like any other case, we're gonna be following it through uh, to see the conclusion and to bring justice for this baby. According to court documents, the mother told police she owned two weapons. One they found in the glove compartment of the car. The second one was found in the possession of the child's father. Sources say they believe that was the weapon involved. The father was arrested for outstanding warrants and not in connection with this case. He told police he was at work and rushed to the hospital when he heard what happened. He's out on bond. LaCravion Washington is still there charged with endangering a child for not having her children in car seats and having a gun that was accessible to them that led to one of their deaths. So he had warrants, and I'm just curious as to what he had warrants for. Very curious about that.
Dallas police arrested the mother of the three-year-old boy who was shot and killed Monday morning in Dallas. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. And I'm Heather Hayes. Police say LaCravey on Washington told them her child was a victim of road rage. Police say they found no evidence of that, but they did find a gun in her car and indications that she was driving with three unrestrained toddlers. Fox News' Lori Brown joining us now from Dallas with more. Lori. Heather, police say they charged a mother with felony child endangerment because officers found a gun in her glove compartment where they say her three young children who had been in the car could have easily gotten hold of it. This is video of 26-year-old LaCravion Washington as she was booked into the Dallas County Jail. We now know from police records she was under surveillance after the shooting death of her three-year-old son, Jalexis, Monday. An undercover officer observed her in a vehicle that was driving erratically Wednesday. Uniformed officers pulled the car over and arrested her for outstanding warrants. She declined to talk further to our detective, so at that time we placed her into custody. She went to the Dallas County Jail and she was charged not only with those outstanding warrants, uh, but also with endangering a child. And the endangering of a child charge stems from a child having access to a weapon. Police initially interviewed Washington Monday after she arrived at the Medical City Dallas ER at 10 a.m. Her child critically wounded from a gunshot wound to his head. Both mother and child were seen about 20 minutes earlier at a donut shop near the Dallas College Richland campus. About 940, they were at the donut shop. Just before 10 o'clock, they arrived at Medical City Dallas. That's one of the things that we've asked the public for. If they saw the mother and the child en route to Medical City, Dallas. According to the arrest affidavit, Washington initially told police her son was shot by a stranger in a road rage incident. Police say they found no evidence to support that claim. She said there were no weapons in her car and allowed officers to search it. They found a gun in her glove compartment, a weapon police say she purchased earlier this month. There were also no child restraint seats despite her arriving at the hospital with. I think personally, that there should be a mandatory five-year sentence when there's the death of a child and you are caught and found out that you're lying about details in a case. Especially when it involves our children. And I'll say that again. I think that there should be a five-year attachment to jail or prison, whatever you want to call it, when there's something that you are lying about that can be proven that you're lying about in a case when there's a dead child. I take that type of thing very seriously and I think that there should be harsher punishments, especially when you find out people are lying about certain details. There was a road rage incident, we got shot at. No, you didn't, you lying ass. That should be a mandatory five years right there, $100,000 bond, just that in itself children ages four and two in addition to the three-year-old. An autopsy determined the gunshot to Jalexis was at close range and could not have come from a passing car. It is unclear who in the car fired the shot that killed the boy. If this is the death of a three-year-old child, it's tragic. Uh, we have a lot of great detectives that are working around the clock to find out what happened to this child, uh, to determine who is responsible or person or persons that are responsible for in the death and find justice for this baby. The mother of a three-year-old boy who was shot in the head has now been charged with an additional crime. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. On top of the child endangerment charge, Dallas police announced earlier today, she's also now charged with tampering with evidence. Police say LaCravion Washington told them her child was a victim of road rage. But her story wasn't adding up. They say a gun was found in her car and the child's father also had a gun. Fox 4 Stephen Dow live in Dallas tonight with our update. Stephen. Dallas police still have not told us where the child was actually shot and eventually died from his injuries. Now the new charge against the mother, the evidence tampering. Late tonight, police only saying that she concealed a weapon, but they didn't give any details as to how that pertains to her son's death. Details about what led up to the death of three-year-old Jalexis Washington continued to change. Thursday, the boy's mother, 26-year-old LaCravion Washington, was booked in the Dallas County Jail, charged with child endangerment and now evidence tampering. On Monday, Washington drove her son to the emergency room at Medical City Dallas with a gunshot wound to the head. Police say Washington initially told them he was shot in a road rage incident. 
but an autopsy revealed the boy was shot at close range, and there was no way a bullet from a passing vehicle could have hit him. Five years in prison for that lie alone. What I can tell you is there's a lot of unanswered questions that the detectives are working very hard to come to a conclusion and figure out what exactly happened. Police say Washington continued to lie to them. She told them that there were no guns in the car, but they found one in the glove compartment. They also found the car had no child seats inside of it. She had driven that car with all three of her kids in it, all of them toddlers. They interviewed her again. This time she admitted she had a gun in the car, but claimed she never used it. She told police she recently bought it for her husband, Jalexis Washington Sr. From there, police let her go, but kept track of her. Then on Wednesday, police say an undercover officer saw her driving erratically. She was pulled over by a uniform officer and arrested for outstanding warrants. She declined to talk further to our detectives. So at that time, we placed her into custody. She went to the Dallas County Jail and she was charged not only with those outstanding warrants, uh, but also with endangering a child. And the endangering of a child charge stems from a child having access to a weapon. Police later found out she bought two guns. The second gun was found on her husband, Jalexis Washington Sr. when police arrested him on outstanding warrants. He was later booked for unlawful carrying of a weapon and he's already bonded out of jail. And now Child Protective Services told us that they have had history with uh, this family. As for the other children that were in the car, they were taken into custody by CPS and now tonight they are with a relative. To give my closing thoughts, my thoughts about this are very clear. This was not a road rage incident and I think it's so funny how we continue to keep pointing the finger at other races of people, making it seem like they're the ones committing all of these atrocities against us when it's us doing this to ourselves in some shape, form, or, ca or capacity. Whatever it is, we're doing this to ourselves. I think it is quite disgusting for us to continue to keep getting away with lies. It's easy to prove that these are lies and the world is watching. And I think at some point, us, especially my race of people, we got to step up and start calling our folks out. Stop doing this because I think that we are our own worst enemy and we will never get better until we start dealing with our own internal issues. The most people that the people that do the most violence against us are people that look just like us. And until we solve that problem, we're never going to get anywhere. We're going to continue to keep losing our babies. It's a beautiful baby boy. I actually know a young lady who had a son that looks exactly like him. That's why this is so, so trippy for me to look at his picture. Cause I know a little boy that looks exactly like him when he was a little baby, just about his age. But this is really, really sad. But young Prince, RIP. And we hope that we can get some answers about what actually happened to this baby. But like I said, we can speculate, leave your comments in the comment section, Dallas, Texas. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just ashamed of my city sometimes, but nonetheless, we're going to get justice for our babies. We're going to continue to stand on our super aggravated child abuse laws and get the maximum penalty against people who will hurt, murder, and abuse our babies. I'm DJ Just J. Thank you for listening to the AFC. From my heart to yours, I love you all. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next stream, okay? Thank you. Peace.